Hey everyone, so we have a brand new release from T. Henry to deal with, and that means we're gonna have some videos and some reviews to go through. This one we're gonna talk about is the H1. It is part of the new release, and we're gonna have some fun with it because there are some beautiful details you don't wanna miss on any of these, but in particular, this one. So, let's get into it. So, right out of the gate, I just love the way light plays across this frame. You guys know I'm a sucker for the details as far as how light passes over the frame, where bevels and facets come into play, and you know, I love a little brow detailing, which this one absolutely has, just that very subtle facet right across that top edge that catches the light beautifully right at the brow line, and that's just a nice detail to me. Now, this one is the Octane colorway, pretty sure. <laughs> now I'm gonna fumble. There you go, that's what you get. Anyways, so classic black and gold colorways. In these, we have new custom titanium temple cores and gold detailing, of course, on the black frame. You've got the same hex head tri rivets we've seen pretty much across the board on the T Henry release. No huge surprise there, but I do love this new core detailing. But what's really cool with this one, instead of only being the core detailing at the front, it actually carries over all the way to that back edge as well. So you've got that nice little pop right at the back edge. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. I can see it, but you're gonna have to be really sharp out of the detail. You've got a little bit of a cutback relief here all the way back to that bottom edge. So it refracts a lot in kind of a cool way where you've got a little bit thinner area through here versus thicker up across here. It's a really cool way to do it. You really just catch that ledge at the very back as a little bit more interesting detail. It's the kind of subtle details that you really want to see at this price point because these guys are coming in right around $900 today. So like 850 is the official area on these. But what's really cool on this one, well, it's all really cool. And you'll hear me say that a million times and you can deal with it. But I really like what they've done here on the temple tips. So normally for a little extra tension, a little extra friction back here on the edges, you'll see just grooves cut in the frame. I don't have anything here handy that's set up like that, but essentially where this is just smooth on the back edge, you would have just straight line cuts across the back to increase friction, which is all fine and dandy, until you see something like this and it's like, oh wow, I never really thought about that, but that's a really cool way to do it. And it still has the effect, it adds a little bit of extra friction back there. And that's one thing I do wanna mention. Now on the higher end, you tend to see uh, overall ergonomics ignored a little bit by especially oh. a lot of the designers on the higher end actually, but Ah, that is getting better these days than it used to be. But something else this adds is not just the looks of it, because, I mean, it's hidden back here. Most people aren't gonna see that. If you're bald, sure, it's a beautiful detail that's gonna pop very nicely, depending on where that tip falls behind your ears. And it's still nicely adjustable because you have this thinner area here. It's gonna give us a little bit of room to bring that in or down to fit it properly. The bridge has a nice play to it, so it all fits good, but, this adds just a little bit of extra weight at the very back to bring the balance of the frame into the whole picture. And you'll see this on some of the other frames where that back edge has been tuned and cut just a little bit differently for each frame, keeping that overall balance how it should be. The overall look on these I think is really phenomenal. It's gonna dress up super well. I have heard some call it gaudy and uh, well, so be it if that's what you think. Something that's really new, really cool. <laughs> I told you I was gonna say it a bunch, so I had to throw it in there all over again. The detailing on that front logo. So this is the badge for the brand. You'll see this across most of the frames, but now it has cut little reliefs in it and infilled with black enamel as well. It's black on the black frame, it's different colors on other frames. And since I have a different colorway here, you'll see on this other one in the champagne colorway is a brown detailing that coordinates with that lens properly. And of course, 
it's just beautiful to show off. We do still have a backside anti-reflective coating on these that is a gold colorway, which is really soft and comfortable to the eyes. You don't really see a whole lot of it. They are CR39 lenses. I believe that's still what he's using. I actually need to double check that, but I believe that's to be true. The tint is phenomenal. It's a very nice neutral gray, looks good. The brown, a little bit soft for outdoor sun, but is really good indoors. This one's gonna be really good out in bright sun as well. So something to keep in mind between the colorways. This is not the H1, but just to show off the other colorway. And as I was talking about that brown being a little bit lighter, you can still almost see the eyes through it. So that's just fine. As far as the bridge, I mentioned it does have a really good bit of splay to it. So it sits down nicely on the nose, in particular on my nose. Some of the other T. Henry's did not fit me very well. It's a thing that makes me sad, but it's not necessarily a bad thing because it could fit a lot of other people very well that don't have the same fat nose I do. Me, I'm happy about this one. Overall sizing is gonna be nice on that large to oversized end. This is gonna fit bigger faces really well, and it's that nice full oversized frame look. I think it's phenomenal. Size-wise, we are looking at something that I have covered up, and that's always fun because it makes me look like a goof on camera, which, you know, I'm really good at that anyway, so we'll deal with it. Ooh, I didn't just cover it up. It's buried back here. It's a 54 eye size with a 19 millimeter bridge. What that means for you non-optical people is the lens from here to here is 54 millimeters, and the bridge, which is actually the area from the inside of the lens to the inside of the lens, is 19 millimeters. The cut of these fits nice on a little bit larger nose. There you go. Now, on the limited run on these, it is gonna be 199 of each colorway produced, so they're a little bit more attainable. Uh, <laughs> definitely not mass market produced, but a little more attainable than the releases in the 40 to 70 area that we had been seeing from T. Henry. So this is as is they're growing, they're getting more accounts, they really need more frames to be able to distribute and make all the accounts happy and have frames to sell. That does kind of matter at the end of the day. Now, one detail I'm gonna mention on every single one of these frames because it really caught my eye in a cool way, and that is the hinges on these. Look at the size of this beefy freaking seven barrel hinge with huge leaves on each one. But beyond that, look at the detailing of the custom milling of the frame. You have that T. Henry logo etched in, oh, it was showing up beautifully just a second ago, right there in the middle of the, in the middle of the hinge plate. You can see those three rivets go all the way through the frame that I mentioned earlier. They are going into that hinge plate as well. And you get a couple extra reliefs there, but you can't quite catch it on camera, but that is faceted all the way around the edge so it sits down beautifully and flush into the frame to really just show off the detail. This is where you're getting into the jewelry level of details. It is phenomenal. And even beyond that, on the cut of the frame, it's not gonna show up super well on camera, but you've got just a little shave down here. That's gonna help cut the weight as it comes back through that area instead of maintaining all of that massive thickness all the way throughout. And that does fit on the head a little bit nicer because you'll notice where those reliefs actually cut out is right where it's gonna start making contact on a lot of people. So that's gonna give you almost the effect of that bowed out temple without actually being a bowed out temple. It's gonna keep that flyer across the face, a nice clean look, which is good at this price point. A nice clean look with something really beautiful and detailed. Who'd have sunk it? I'm only gonna go over one more small detail, and that's just because I didn't mention it, and that is the TV beveling around the lenses. I am always a fan of this cut because it adds a little extra dimension, especially on the black frames like this Octane colorway. It's just a small detail that coordinates with the facet across the brow bar and gives you a little punch around the lens area. You can do some really wild things with these with the lenses if you get into custom lenses. Ah. Uh, it's a crux of mine. Always got to think about the future lenses going into these. We're going to have some fun with some of these in the future. I can just feel it. One of you is going to message me after this and say, I need some of your lenses in one of these frames, and I'm going to have a field day. And someone is going to be very happy or very upset. <laughs> I'm going to be very happy 
somebody else is going to be very happy or very upset. Anyways, that's all I've got on the H1. Let me know your thoughts on this frame. Is it really that next level we've been looking for in the eyewear industry? Somebody to dethrone the titan of luxury eyewear, which is Jacques Marie Mage. I think it's there, and especially the collection you haven't seen yet absolutely ticks that box, but we'll get there eventually. Anyways, that's all I've got. Look forward to hearing your thoughts. I will catch you guys next time.